Okay, so you bought a Avermedia GC573 Live Gamer Capture Card. And now you want to put it on your PCI slot, on your desktop. For this purpose, I will be using a my Alienware Aurora, my Alienware Aurora, and I'm going to show you how to install it on Alienware Aurora. I know there's a bunch of you that have this similar uh, PC, so I'm going to show you how to install it, how to use this uh, Avermedia capture card. And without any further ado, let's go up with the, with the process. Let's start doing this. All right, so the first thing you're going to need, it's going to be a Phillips screwdriver. All right, that's the, the most important part that you're going to need for this process of this installation. In the back of your Alienware Aurora, you will see this little uh, flat handle. Let's just call it a handle. That's what it is. It's a handle, flat handle. Right here, there is a screw, which already has unscrewed. There's a little screw in there that you have to unscrew. You have to use a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and you have to uh, take it out. Once you take it out, put it somewhere where you can remember on a safe spot. Now, once you do that, once you take that screw out, the next step is going to be this. Down below, down below, right here, there's a little switch lock that you have to unlock. You have to push this up to unlock when you push this up to unlock it will allow you to take this tray out this cover that's right here on the right side you will be able to take it out so you got to make sure first that you take the screw out of here that's securing this tray you have to take that out and then you come down here and you push this tray up and once you do that now you can Pull it out. Obviously, I only have one hand, so I cannot show it to you how to just pull it out like that, but I'm going to give you one example. All right, so what you want to do once you have the bottom part right here unlocked, here, so you guys can see it. Once you have this bottom part right here, once you have this bottom part unlocked, it's right over there, once you have that unlocked, then the next step is going to be over here pulling this lever which is right over here pulling this lever pulling it out all you have to do is just pull it out pull it out like that and voila there you go this piece has come off and now you got your PC open now Another step you want to make is going to be over here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. I'll show it to you in a minute. In order for you to take this part out, the best thing to do is to flip this uh, desktop on its flat left side. So like this. Just flip it like this, flip it like that, and then over here, once you flip it, there's another switch here, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's another switch here that you're going to have to uh, unlock. So make sure you do the same thing on this switch right here, push it up, like that, push it up. And then all you have to do is just pull it out. Same thing here. We already done that. So all you have to do now is just pull it. Just pull it like this. You pull it up like that. And now you can look inside. Now you look. You can look inside your motherboard here. Uh, there's my graphics card right here. 1080 GeForce GTX 1080. And then right here, these are my PCI slot. The PCI slot that you should use is the one right here in the middle. That's the one that we're going to use 
for this installation. There's screws down here that you will need to unscrew and take this uh, little door handle tray, pull it out so you can put it inside a slot. It's like this is like a little slot tray holder uh, door. You need to take this bar out. You need to uh, unscrew it, which is down here. You just got to unscrew that little door handle bar. Hold on. Let me adjust for you. See the screw They're right there? That's pretty much all you will have to do to unscrew it. Actually, I apologize. Uh, I made a mistake. You don't have to unscrew. That's for the motherboard. I made a mistake. They really made it simple. All you have to do is just push it up. Just push it, push it like this. Just push it up. You see how am I pushing it? You just push it up and it will come out. You just push it up and then you pull it out like I just did and then you pull it out that's all you have to do so remember you don't want to touch that that's for the motherboard all you have to do is just kind of go like this just push it up push it push it up just a tiny little force and it will pop out and now that you have this done that you have this extra space available here the only thing left for you to do is to install your PCI Avermedia capture card. Or it doesn't have to be Avermedia, it could be Elgato, it doesn't matter, but we're going to be installing Avermedia GC753. There's one more trick, there's one more trick, it's this bridge right here. This bridge right here, it's something that you will need to take out before you can put your Aver Media capture card. So what you want to do is just pull it. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. Uh, okay, there's nothing misleading here. Just pull it. You're not going to break it. Just pull it like that. And once you do that, you just take it out and you're good to go. So don't be afraid to pull it out. You're not going to break anything. Now, once you take that out, <clears throat> the final step, obviously, it's going to be your uh, Aver Media your Aver Media card. I know I shouldn't be holding it like this. I'm making a big mistake by doing this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to just slide it right in. Right here. Hold on so I can see. I got to see it. There we go. Hold on. Obviously, you want to use two hands. So just push it down. Make sure that it slides right in. This right here is your LED. This is where it's going to be changing different colors. RGB, red, green, blue, yellow, orange. All right, this thing will lit up. And I think you'll be able to see it. So once you have done that, the next step is for you to secure. To secure this, put a screwdriver, uh, put a screw in there and tighten it up with a screwdriver, with a Phillips screwdriver. And that's pretty much it, guys. And of course, you have to put this back on. The way to put, put this back on, this bridge, all you have to do is just put it over here. Make sure that it aligns together with this, like that. Here, I'll show you in a second. You have to make sure that it aligns together like this. See that? Just make sure that it aligns together and once it's aligned together and it goes right in then all you have to do after that is just slide it back like I and you will see like right here just slide it back or you don't have to use this honestly this is something that uh, you actually you can you can put it over here let me see you could actually try and uh, let me see where else can you put it. Hold on a second, let me see some. So what I basically did here, I pushed it back because I couldn't put it here because there was not enough space. So what I did, I just attached it to another one of those hooks and I pushed it backwards. So that way there's uh, space available. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing else for you to do here. Uh, 
this will just go right in will slide right in okay like that just push it down it's gonna lock right in and uh, the one thing I like about the Alienware they give you an extra space uh, so if you want to put RTX 2080 the big RTX 2080 you still have extra space here to put the uh, RTX 2080 so once you do that uh, everything's secured you're good to go uh, the only thing left to do is just put the cover back on and, and you're done but make sure you lock it there's a lock over here make sure you lock it so that way it doesn't move okay now let's put the cover back on to put the cover back on you gotta make sure that you aligned it correctly so that everything it's aligned correctly as you can see right here from this uh, point of view you have to make sure that it's aligned correctly okay and you will see like the the imprint where it goes like you will see exactly where it goes so you will know exactly uh, where to uh, align it with you just have to align it correctly with each side and that's about it and this is what I mean when I say aligning it correctly you want to put it right here hold on you want to align it right here see these holes you want to make sure that it goes right into these holes you push it in so it locks right in okay that's what you have to do and there you go that's it pretty much uh, the only thing left to do is just flip it vertically and make sure that you lock that you lock it so there's two locks there's one at the bottom okay which is down here make sure you lock it pull it down to lock means it's locked and then another one here pull it down to make sure it's locked and that's that you pretty much all secure you're good to go now you have uh, your Aver Media capture card installed on your Alienware PC or better yet your uh, Aurora uh, Alienware PC. Now it doesn't have to be Aurora. I'm just using Aurora. I could have used Dell, uh, Inspiron. I could have used uh, Cyber Power. Doesn't matter. I buy Power. You name it. Uh, either one of those would have done the job. Okay. But for those of you who have Alienware, this is how you do it. It's really not that difficult. If you follow these steps, if you follow this video, it should shouldn't take you less than what 13 minutes should be done hopefully this video was uh, helpful and uh, it helps you guys out for those of you who have Alienware I don't know maybe you're not PC tech savvy guy this is not my first rodeo on a PC so, you know I've installed a lot of different things so there you have it guys thank you for watching cheers have a good one I will do some capturing uh, tomorrow with 4k and HDR we'll do some tests on the Aver media okay again this is the what I'm talking about right here this is what I'm talking about this is the uh, live gamer 4k Aver media capture card the G C 573 and um, there you have it there it is uh, this is the back of the box right here as you can see it supports 4k HDR I think I can show it to you right here in the back uh, Maybe I can zoom in a little bit better here so you guys can see it. Uh, 4K 60 HDR, and it also supports full HD 240 uh, frames per second. So we'll check it out tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. There you go. Hopefully you enjoy this video. And yes, it does come with the Power Director 15, which is right over here. So. It does have HDMI 2.0, which is cool. All right, more for this, more on this. Uh, I will talk about it tomorrow on my official videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, QHD 1440p 
60 video, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Have a good one, though. Also, don't forget to check my uh, live stream I just did earlier. It was a lot of fun. Thank you.